So have you ever had pierogi? I have. All right, they are these tasty Polish dumplings, if you don't know, traditionally stuffed with cheese or sauerkraut or potatoes. Yeah, but today we're going to take you to a place that is refining what you can put inside a pierogi. Mm -hmm. How about taco? How about pizza? How about mac and cheese pierogi? Sounds good to me, but that's not all they're known for. So today our Michelle Oliver is taking us to dine in the D in Wyandotte at the Little Pierogi and Crepe Kitchen. Drew Gear may look young, but don't let that fool you. She is the mastermind behind the Little Pierogi and Crepe Kitchen. She started this restaurant when she was just 20 years old. I actually worked here when this used to be the hamburger joint, uh, Joe's Hamburgers, and I started working there when I was about 15. So when he moved, we had an open unit. And I was going to school for EMT, and it just wasn't really what I wanted to do. I loved working in kitchens. I love working with food. I love cooking. So when he moved, we just saw the opportunity, and I jumped on it. She completely changed up the place, adding bright and cheery colors. And she did this all on her own dime. I didn't have really much credit built up, so I didn't really have the opportunity to take loans out, and that's not, I didn't want to put myself in any further debt. So the six years that I pretty much worked at Joe's was pretty much all savings, just to do this. They just serve two things, crepes and pierogi. Well, the pierogies we actually sold out of Joe's. When they were here, we did the more traditional, you know, the potato onion, the potato cheddar, the farmer's cheese. So before he left, we started trying, like, the pizza, and people loved them. They flew off the shelves. You know, we'd make a batch of them of, you know, 30, 40 at a time, and they'd be gone within two days. So unique pierogi became her specialty. They have taco, jalapeno popper, chicken bacon ranch, even a mac and cheese pierogi. We just like to play. We come to work and we play. We, we add things in until they taste good. We take things out if they don't. There's been a couple of things that we tried that weren't real big sellers. And then, you know, you just take it off and put something else up. They have a variety of crepes as well, all of which are named after Wyandotte streets. Pierogies and crepes, you can pretty much add anything into them and they taste great. I think they're the best I've had. <laughs> so to see what made her pierogi so special, she let me cook up some mac and cheese pierogi with her. Basically, we're going to take this big chunk of dough mm -hmm. and we're going to chop it up into smaller pieces. From here, we're going to take one chunk okay. and you're going to just want to flatten it out a little bit. And then you want to coat it in some flour. We're going to turn our dough sheet around and we're going to feed it through the top part and it's going to come out in a nice flat sheet right through here. Whoa, that got a lot, that got a lot bigger. <laughs> so then once you get your nice flat sheet, you want to put more flour on it. I feel like there's a lot of flour. Lots of flour. <laughs> you always want to make sure it's coated in flour. Mm -hmm. That we're going to cut little sections out so you get nice little circles, but you want to make sure they're nice and thick. Nice and thick, okay. The thicker they are, the bigger they're going to be when you flatten them. This reminds me of cutting out Christmas cookies. Yeah. So now we're going to take our filling, which we got the mac and cheese. Ooh, yum. I had this before. This is delicious. <laughs> we do everything from scratch here, so even the mac and cheese every day before we make it, we'll make it from scratch. And then we're going to take our spray bottle that just has water in it, mm -hmm. and we're going to spray the top portions of them. We want the top half kind of coated, so when you seal it, it holds together. Like that? Perfect. We're going to take our crimper, so I'm going to hold it in the corner like this, and I'm going to twist it. Oh, so that's how you get the pretty little edges. Yep, and then that helps seal it as well. And we're going to fork the edges right around where our perky little lump is to make sure that we have all the goodies inside sealed nice and tight. Next, the cook boils them. Now they're ready to be fried up with some butter and onions and enjoy. It's fun to be your own boss. It's, it's fun to come to work and feel like you're not at work. So joining wow. us now is Drew Gear, owner of Little Pierogi and Crepe Kitchen in Wyandotte. Thank you so much for being yeah. here. For so us. it's your chance. Be the boss of us. <laughs> exactly. Okay? Are you guys this ready? Is exciting. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna heat up our pans first, so we All get right. those nice and hot, so our batter will stick. So what are we gonna be making? We're gonna be making crepes. Yeah. Today we're gonna make three of our most popular crepes. We've okay. got the mulberry, the sycamore, and the orchard. Yeah. We named all of our crepes after street names in Wyandotte, actually. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So I think for a lot of people, crepes are an intimidating thing. They think France, they think, you know, mm -hmm. it, it's really a cool thing because you are able to put so many different ingredients in those two. Yes. Uh, pierogies and crepes are both very universal, so you can pretty much stuff anything that you like inside of them and yeah. it'll taste great. Right? Oh, You've that's got awesome. sweet and savory going we on. We do, over here. yeah. It could be dessert or it could be lunch. Yep. Okay. All right. So, so what do you want us to do? So now that our pans are heated up, we're going to take some of this butter here. Okay. And spread this around. Mm -hmm. Here mm -hmm. you are. Okay. A little butter in there. Okay. And then we're going to take our batter here. Mm -hmm. 
And we're going to hold our pan. Is there a secret to that batter? Because obviously that's got to be thin enough to. It does, yeah. You, it's just like pancake batter, but a little bit thinner. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep your, man, your pan moving the whole time you're doing this. If you stop, it'll clump up. Oh, let me do that. You do it. Here I'm going to watch you, yeah. I'm going to learn from. <laughs> so, you want to just like this here? Gotcha. And then we're going to let that heat back up. All right. Now, tell me how much batter to put in here. Tell me when to stop, okay. I should say. Just keep it on moving, and that looks about good. Okay, very nice. Let me give it a shot here and see how this go. goes. All you right, can see so that mine's starting to get a little dry in the center. So you, you want all the tacky to go bottom. away. Is that enough? Perfect. Perfect. See? There Look, I have no idea what I'm doing. There you go. Oh, man, that's really, that's nice. And then we got our fillings here. So, Tati, you've got the sycamore over here, and Chuck, you've got the mulberry. Okay. And then I've got my orchard right here. So, you want these? Yep, just we're going to dump all this right in a line here because oh, we're going to roll it when we're finished. Oh, okay. The, the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just spread it all out? Yep. Okay. And you don't have to wait for a certain consistency of that crepe on the pan. You, you can just, just want, go for it. You want it to be nice and dry. All right. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Look at Tati's. Why everything she does looks like Nordstrom. Everything she does looks like, oh, it's so put together. Mine's a sloppy mess. Thanks, Tati. No, my mom is watching, Chuck. You know I gotta get this. <laughs> right. All these berries in there too, yep. Drew? Okay. Watch, I'll delightfully place them in, Tati. Perfect there, placement. Take that. take that in this perfection. Okay. All right, there we go. Very nice. Looks good. So now I'm going to take some more butter on my spatula here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hit the sides to unstick it a little bit. Oh. And I'm going to hit our flames because when the sides start to get a little crispy here, that's when you know they're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've They'll never done this trick. They'll kind of to cook on their own a little. Cook the they will, more, yeah. Right? Yep. Okay. And if it gets stuck, you just want to add a little bit more butter. Yeah. When in doubt, use more butter. Okay. You know, <laughs> that's a good girl. motto. <laughs> my yeah. kind of girl. So as you can see, it's starting to loosen my sides here for me. Right. So we're not, are we rolling yet? Yeah. What, yeah. More butter? More butter. When in doubt, more butter. Okay. You know what, this one actually seems to be sticking. So we brought a couple backups just in case. And that's what backups okay. Which I got right over here by you. All right. So. Beautiful. Should I start to roll this one? It looks yep, like mine is. You want to grab your sides just like this and pinch and roll. So I, I should do this with the spatula? Or yep. No? Yeah. Just pinch okay. and roll. Pinch. My, there you go. Perfect. Uh oh, mine developed a leak. <laughs> Mine's uh, it's a don't look, tricky. Tati. Yeah, it's a little Listen, tricky. Listen, I'm 100 cheating. Okay, I grew up in a restaurant. I know how to cook a lot of stuff. So is, is there anything on, like a scrambled crepe? Is there anything like <laughs> there that? There is now. There is now. See, <laughs> look at the trendsetter. All right. So let's right. show some of what you've got up here because you brought some of the pierogies and the crepes. We'll start here with this one. What is that? Uh, right here we've got a plate of pierogies and kibasa. We brought some of our crazier kinds today to show. So today we actually brought yeah. a mushroom Swiss, a pizza, and a loaded potato. Oh, yeah. Somebody's taking it. Okay, go ahead. What's <laughs> that next one there? Uh, next to that we've got our biddle crepe, mm -hmm. which is bananas, Nutella, our homemade cream, and graham cracker crumbs, which is more like a banana cream wow. pie. And this one? That one is called our Antwine, which is bananas and Nutella. Okay. That's a more plain one. Apparently you like Nutella. We love Nutella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I heard it's health food. <laughs> and then now you do get into the healthy stuff if somebody's looking for veggies or whatever. Correct, right? yeah. This is more of our lunch style plate. Mm -hmm. This is more of a Mediterranean. We've got spinach, tomato, feta, and a Greek vinaigrette, which mm -hmm. is the spruce. And then real quick, down toward the end? Down towards the end, we have the oak, which is spinach, feta, and hummus. Okay. And that last bowl of soup is looking kind of wonderful. What is that? That is our Polish soup. That is our dill pickle. Okay, awesome. All right, now, you know, so. Greg Russell does real <laughs> reviews. We're going to have you give us your opinion here. There's a crepe <laughs> on the left done by <coughs> somebody. I don't know who did it. And then it there's mine. Me. Can you see this? This one's mine. <laughs> well, if we're shooting Oops. for a scrambled crepe, that is perfect. See? See? There you go. That's what I'm thinking. There you go. Well, congratulations and much Thank success you. because you've got such a unique niche to what's going on, but it all looks so wonderful. It does. Yeah. Good because job. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> it's awesome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us.